guys are back here again with yet another review and today we're going to be taking a look at something that i'm actually pretty excited for we're going to be taking a look at the brand new mcfarland toys dc direct page punchers john constantine now the deal with these guys is is they took the page punchers name so to speak and made them into seven inch scale figures so it'll come with a uh, comic book, which is this is the English comic book kind of would have been cool to find like a Spanish one or something, but um, So it's an exclusive figure and an exclusive comic book to that figure now these figures aren't exclusive to anywhere in particular, but You know, that's how it goes taking a look on the back. This is some awesome artwork Really really like it uh, Scott Cram Kirk Kirkham I don't know, Kirkham looks pretty cool. The box looks great. Uh, definitely different from your DC Multiverse. It's black and white. I actually kind of like this box a little bit more. You get to see the figure inside. And then there is the barcode at the top. Page punchers. Well, without further ado, it's about time we open up the John Constantine figure. So let's go ahead and do just that. So getting John Constantine out of the package... I've got to say, it's bloody amazing. Now, I got, I got to say, I really do like the fact that they put a bloody uh, five o'clock shadow on his face here. It looks really nice, and the wash inside of his hair looks rather beautiful. Along the arms, you get a nice sculpt that looks really good on the rest of the body for the trench coat. I really like the way that they in integrated the articulation into the arms. You also get a little bit of white paint across the edge to simulate his shirt, and I really enjoy that. Along the trousers, you get a little, you get a little, <laughs> you get a little cut in his knee here. And uh, I like that they did that because DC Multiverse isn't necessarily known for doing complicated paint apps so getting that on the figure is rather nice the boots look rather good and i really like the sculpt at the bottom of the trench coat here it looks rather nice one thing that i wish that was in this figure would be a red toy if it had a red toy i would have much rather preferred that and it would have been my mind's eye version of john constantine um i like the way that the hands look and I like the way that the colour of the pants, you get a little buckle painted on there. And I just overall look the, like the shape of the figure. It doesn't look heroic. And John Constantine's not necessarily a heroic guy. So getting him in this nature looks rather nice. As far as accessories, this bloke comes with a lot of good stuff. Starting off with this book that he can hold. It reminds me much of the Doctor Doom book, which I do enjoy that. And it's exclusive for this hand. So you'll go, we get this little hand here. And you can pop that in there. My bloody camera fell. Fuck. I'm not even going to edit that out. But you get his bloody book here. That he can hold. And it looks rather nice. So you get him holding the book. And then my favourite accessory... You get an interchangeable hand, which DC Multiverse doesn't always do, that you can put on a magic effect. Now, this is like Doctor Strange. You could actually probably pop this onto a Doctor Strange figure if you want, but I'd rather not. I'm definitely going to keep this on my John Constantine, and I like it a lot. I like the yellow paint around the outline, so it looks more bright, especially on the front. DC multiverse needs to implement this amount of accessories on their figures because it looks amazing now of course it's todd mcfarlane so we're gonna get bullshit card and bullshit stand one day i have to show you all on my tiktok how many stands i have and what i had to do with them but the appeal of this page punches line is that you get an exclusive comic book now, I have not yet opened this comic book, so let's go ahead and do that, if it's rather easy, which it's it's not perforated, and I don't want to rip the book. So let me go ahead and open this. 
Now I went ahead and read this comic book and I gotta say it's a rather great story with amazing artwork. John actually looks really good compared to the book in here because I believe that these figures were based off of the comic, the cover art rather than the book itself. But John carries his look all the way through. I'm not gonna go over the entire comic book rather because I would like people to buy this and be excited and interested when they get the book themselves. Also I've heard that each figure in this wave is gonna be its own. It has the same comic book. So if you get Batman, Superman, or Black Adam, they are all going to have the same book. I wouldn't mind getting the Batman just because it's Batman, but I'm not going to go crazy looking for him. As far as articulation is concerned, the head is going to look up about that much. It's going to go down, side to side, and pivot round and round. The arm is going to go up that far, down, rotate 360, and a bicep swivel. Double jointed knees. Now on the interchangeable hand, the wrist is a little extended and will only swivel rather than hinge. Whereas on the regular hands, they will swivel and hinge as they are a ball hinge. Now, what really surprised me on this figure is the fact that it has a really good horse articulation. Look, he can bloody crunch forward. Who knew? Side to side is very good as well. He can swivel on both joints, which I really enjoy, along with doing the full splits, kicking forward, backward, little, oh wait, he's got a great thigh swivel in there, beautiful, beautiful, bloody gorgeous, double jointed knees, he'll kick forward, and the leg, will, on the foot rather, will kick forward, backward, pivot also, rotate, and toe hinge. Now, it's crazy because this character doesn't really demand for an amazing, exuberant amount of articulation. Yet, here we are, and it's one of the most articulated figures in the DC line, including the DC Multiverse, because I understand that this isn't necessarily DC Multiverse, but it has great articulation on the, nonetheless. Your buddy bloke, stand the hell up. As far as scare, who he is next to the Dark Knight Returns Batman. And of course, he's going to scale with the 7-inch figure. So it looks rather good. Now to get him with the rest of the Zark Toys team. Here he is next to Tomato Head. There he is. He's a little bit taller because Tomato Head is only a 6-inch scare figure. Then we have Necker's Silly Kong. That silly bloke. He looks a little funny. Then, including Marvel Legends, you'll get two figures here. In Darwin and Zombie Captain America. Darwin, what another British boy. Love him. But yeah, um, I believe that the articulation and scale is very good on this figure. Now you're bloody wondering. Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. I wanted to do that the entire video. Some people will find it funny. Some people will find it incredibly annoying. And you know what? I don't give a fuck either way. It's my channel and I think it's funny. But... No hate to any British people. Love, love just messing around and doing a British accent all the time. I love hearing British people do American accents too. It's very funny. But anyway, this figure is gorgeous. And I really like the way that they did all of the stuff that they did on it. The articulation is ridiculously well done considering that this is not a character that deserves as much articulation as they gave it. Nor does he need that much. The accessories are awesome. Getting two... Two big accessories, a book and this amazing effect part, and an interchangeable hand to go with it is great. I mean, the card is whatever, and I know the whole appeal is the comic book, and I haven't read a comic book in a long time, so that is such an awesome thing to see. Love the sculpt, love the paint, love everything that this has going on for him. So I'm going to go ahead and get a price point of $24. I just picked up this motherfucker today, a repainted Jawa. $27.99. Hasbro, are you fucking serious with this shit? But then DC Multiverse or DC Page Punchers or McFarlane Toys comes around and gives us a bloody John Constantine, a brand new sculpt, a card, a stand, not that I really care about them, but a book, an interchangeable hand, an effect part, and a whole comic book. And it's not a thin book. Like, that's... That's a decent amount of book. It took me like half an hour to go through it and read it thoroughly. Not that like, you know, I'm a slow reader by any means. But, uh, you know, there's it's a decent amount of content in here. And, you know, I, I open up to the page with no words. But 
there's a good amount of writing in here, and I really, really like that. It makes me really want a Hawk Girl. That would be awesome. McFarlane, come around and do a second wave. That would be awesome. But yeah, I really, really do enjoy this figure. But anyway, I believe that's all I got for today. So at a price point of $24.99. $24.99 for a whole new figure, accessories, and a comic book. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'm doing it. 10 out of 10. I really, other than him not being pinless, which is just something that McFarlane doesn't do, I have no real issues with this guy. Like, none. So, I'm happy with it. Uh, I would love a cigarette, but buttocks. We're not getting it. But anyway, I believe that's all I got for today. So, if you've not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I post a lot on there and I have a lot of fun, so I'm sure you all will too. But bloody hell, tell me. Are you copping? Let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Au revoir.